Hello, and welcome to the DB Schema channel. In this quick tutorial, you will learn how to connect the DB Schema Designer tool to your database. Before we dive into the connection steps, let's quickly highlight some of its main features. Visualize your schema with intuitive diagrams. Collaborate with your team on schema design through Git integration and deploy the schema into multiple databases. Add comments and generate HTML5 documentation for easy sharing. Run SQL queries directly using the built-in SQL editor. Edit and view data with the relational data editor and query builder. Now, let's get started with the connection process. First, Open the DB Schema application. On the main screen, click Connect to Database. You will see a list of database options here. Select SQL Server. If you are connecting for the first time, DB Schema will automatically download the JDBC driver for you. SQL Server offers two authentication methods, Windows Authentication and SQL Server Authentication for database access. If you are a Mac OS user, Windows authentication is not supported directly. Instead, you will need to use SQL Server authentication. Before starting the connection process in DB Schema, ensure the following conditions are met. 1. The SQL Server is running. Verify that the SQL Server database is operational and ready to accept connections. Here's how you can check. Open SQL Server Configuration Manager. Navigate to SQL Server Services. Right-click on MS SQL Server and select Start. This ensures your SQL Server instance is active and ready for use. Two, ensure that TCP IP connections are enabled. To allow connections via the TCP IP protocol, follow these steps. Navigate to SQL Server Network Configuration and go to Protocols. Right-click on TCP IP and select Enable. Next, go to the IP Addresses tab. Scroll to the bottom to find the IP. All section. Set the port to 1433. Three, ensure that the firewall on the server allows TCP IP traffic through port 1433. To enable the communication trough the firewall, follow these steps. Open command prompt by right-clicking on it and selecting run as administrator. Enter this command. To enable port 1433, I will write this command for you in the description of this video. Now, you can configure the local connection in DB Schema. DB Schema offers three methods to connect to your local SQL Server database. Method one, select Windows Authentication Current User from the JDBC URL. No additional details are required as it uses the credentials of the logged in Windows user. Method two, select Windows Authentication from the JDBC URL. Enter your host name and your Windows login username. You can find the host name by typing host name in command prompt. And the username can be found in the start menu. Method three, select SQL Server Authentication. Enter the database username and password set during the SQL Server installation. Make sure that SQL Server Authentication mode is enabled. Follow these steps to set it up. Open SQL Server Management Studio. In the Object Explorer, right-click the server name and select Properties, then click on Security. Select SQL Server and Windows Authentication Mode, then click OK. Important, 
These changes usually require a restart of the SQL server to take effect. Here you can find your SQL server login credentials, your database username needed in DB schema. You can also connect remote from your local computer to another machine in two ways. Method one, choose SQL Server Authentication. Select the remote computer or custom port. First, you will need to enable both SQL Server Authentication and Windows Authentication mode from SQL Server Management Studio. Then, you can enter the IP address or the host name of your remote SQL Server. You can find these details by running the command ipconfig slash all in command prompt. Enter the database username and password that were configured during the SQL Server installation process, then click Connect. Method 2. Connect remotely using Windows Authentication. To use Windows Authentication, both your local and remote machines typically need to be part of the same network or domain. This setup ensures that the authentication system can recognize and validate your user credentials across both devices. No matter which connection type you choose, once you're connected, DB Schema will automatically reverse engineer your database schema, generating a visual layout of your tables and relationships. Thank you for watching. Be sure to explore our other tutorials to get the most out of your DB Schema experience.